Hey guys, Acidic Roots here. So we're gonna tap into this arcade classic, which is Donkey Kong. It even the game even refers to these games as classics, which is basically the truth. I mean, this is definitive of arcade games. But right now, we're just gonna play Donkey Kong. This seminal game can be beaten in just about three and a half minutes, but it's still a bundle of fun. That's the main thing about it. Now obviously if I sucked at this game, it'd probably be more entertaining just to watch you get watch me get game overs and, you know, get mad and rage, but it this, this is really just uh you know, for people my age, this is instructive to be able to beat this game. And there's really no reason that a, even a casual gamer should not be able to beat Donkey Kong. I mean, I know, like, super casual folks may say, like, this is this too old-fangled, but, you know, people who are over the age of 35 or over the age of 27, it's like, you remember this game. Going to some, you know, pizza emporium or... Uh, this arcade or some little hangout pit stop station and finding these games I would have gravitated right for this if I would have been 29 back in 1992 I would have been playing this that's the thing about it there's just no way in hell I wouldn't and I think really you can basically play this game for maybe 50 60 cents so <laughs> no reason why you shouldn't but that's YouTube for you. I mean, obviously there's hundreds of LPs on this game, but I don't particularly care too much. This is something that needs to be done. I mean, with my emphasis on the original Nintendo, I saw no reason to not do this. But maybe I'll bring Frenchie along here pretty soon. I mean, I noticed that this game was two-player, but this is obviously before Luigi. But you can still play, you can still have two folks play this game. It's just a question of who gets the higher score and who doesn't get game over. But, yeah. And obviously I probably should have went for a 100% run. I could have gotten the purse and the umbrella, but I just didn't think to. This is, that's kind of going for a 100% in Donkey Kong is to do that, but I think I do do it in this stage. And another thing you can do is you can attack Donkey Kong, or you can try to. I mean, if Mario approaches Donkey Kong, he will automatically die, but it's just something. Uh, you know, just like if you touch those fireballs, you'll die, but... Uh, yeah, in the Game Boy version of this game, they Im it definitely implies that Donkey Kong would maul Mario, but... <laughs> You know, you just get the idea. So, I did that. I mean, that's the whole reason why I did the second play through this game. I, I've already almost beaten the game, but I did try to get back to this stage to attack Donkey Kong to show you, but I wind up getting game over, so. But, yeah, Mario gets Pauline, and the romance ensues. And really, they don't say what Pauline's job is. I mean, Mario is implied to be a carpenter. He wasn't a plumber until later, but he's a carpenter in this. Donkey Kong is just, I don't know if he came from the zoo or wherever the hell he came from, but really, he's just an animal run rampant. And Pauline, they don't really say what job she has. But I think this supposedly takes place in New York. I mean... Brooklyn, something like that. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, this game almost didn't make it to America, which would have been hella stupid. But, you know, they... Japan was kind of concerned, or someone was kind of concerned. It might have been, like, the... The overseer to... N Nintendo of America or something, they didn't think that this would have marketed well. They wanted them to make some different game. They they had made like Popeye or something, they wanted them to do another game like that, but obviously this is, you know, once again one of the best arcade games, so it's a good thing they took the chance. But, yeah. Donkey Kong Jr., and that was the thing, that came out like the very next year, and, uh, I, I still think that this game is better though, but you do, but you do get the four stages. That's the thing. You do get all four stages in Donkey Kong Jr. But uh, uh, 
They're, it is what it is. They're both good games, so. But. So I think Pauline is actually supposed to say help. You know, I think in the arcade version she kind of says help, help as she's being carried off. But the, it, it, there's not too many things noticeable that got omitted from the arcade version. I mean, the arcade was more powerful than the Nintendo, but um, just a stage. That's about it. And there's three stages instead of four. Alright, folks, subscribe for more fun. We'll have fun with this.